Hey everybody, welcome back to another standing ovation break. I finally got myself some of the Bowman Chrome that came out oh, just over a month ago or so. 2022 Bowman Chrome. Actually, I'm making this uh, about a week, week and a half after it came out. So happy New Year to everybody as this is getting posted on January 1st, I believe. So yeah, happy Happy New Year's. Hope everybody's had a great uh, night last night and isn't too hungover and is feeling fresh and ready to go for the New Year's and resolutions are all set and not broken already. And yeah, whatever. New Year's resolutions, bah humbug. I will break this bo box, 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 Bowman box open with two mini boxes inside as it is a hobby box. Uh, there's the HTA, there are the HTA light boxes or hobby light boxes, but this is a hobby box, which I got directly from the uh, Tops website. An unusual up here in Canada being able to buy right off the website from uh, way up here on Vancouver Island. But I did it and I got two uh, extra boxes as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with I got three all together and uh, they, they were just over 400 Canadian each so yeah like 270 off the site plus your shipping and uh, yeah so anyway let's go let's see what happens I'm kind of excited I got think about it I bought Bowman Chrome for about the same price as I paid for uh, Topps Chrome this year which I don't know if that's I think that's kind of weird because this used to be a little cheaper and Topps Chrome used to be a little cheaper and now I don't know prices just went all over the board and all settled back down to yeah whatever they are but like i've always say it's not always about the money if you're having fun right it's you could pay like a thousand dollars if you had to and you really wanted to or open a box and that'd be your decision i wouldn't suggest doing it but i know some people pay more than others and it's not about how much you paid it's how much fun you have and and let's face it you could pull a zillion dollar card out of here like maybe a two zillion dollar card i don't know that's a lot, but there's some big bangers coming out of here. I guess the draw on the product is Jackson Chorio. I know he's got a brother in here too, but uh, there's all kinds of stuff. You get Julio rookie card autos, uh, Wander Franco rookie card autos, those two alone, let little, little alone all the other guys. You got Torkson and Witt and uh, oh, O'Neill Cruz and Pena. And, yeah, those are the rookies, let alone all the prospects. I don't know who would be number two on my list. I don't know all the prospects the way some of these people do, but hopefully I get one of the big guys and I can be proud of myself saying, I did it. I did it. Anyway, as you can see, there are, uh, there's one auto in each mini box and there's six packs in a mini box, 12 packs all together in a hobby box. Six packs per mini half hobby box or whatever. But you could spend a lot of money on these things before you got a really good one. So don't count on getting a big, big one. Maybe HTA is the way you go, or the light, or whatever you call them, but those ones don't give you the base cards, which I think is a waste, because this is a good year for base cards. I mean, you do have a lot of good rookies in this set. So here we go, let's start it off. We got uh, Corey Seager, and Christian Hernandez, last year's big draw in Bowman Chrome. I don't know how he's panning out. And there's a refractor of Christian Yelich. And first Bowman of Samuel Munoz. And the refractors are numbered at a 499. So there you go. Is that 259, 258? Hold on, let's look, because my light's not the greatest. That looks like a 258 at a 499. So there you go. Yelich, refractor numbered parallel. Start us off. Munoz first Bowman, and then Alex Hernandez first Bowman. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's carry on. And I'll get this going with that guy. Mr. Steroids himself. Well, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. It acc they accidentally fell into me. Rookie of Wander Franco. Having a great, great rookie year collection of Wander Franco cards that may or may not be worth lots of money one day. But he was sure highly touted coming into this season. Wasn't he? Okay, it came from the league. One of the inserts that are new. In this year's Bowman, it's kind of a creep show movie poster from the 50s. It came from the league. Colson Montgomery, interesting. Marcelo Mayer and Victor Acosta. Okay, pack number three. There we go. There we go. Freddie Freeman. First time I've seen him in a Dodgers card. Freddie Freeman as a Dodger. Shohei, oh, Tony, and Ezekiel Duran, the Arizona Fall League inserts. I haven't seen one of those yet, but I haven't been looking for one, so there you go. 
So Ezekiel Duran. Not sure where he is on the prospect list overall, but I'd say he's up there, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Leonardo Balsazar. First Bowman and a Johinsky Noel. Okay. Pack number four. We got one numbered card. I think there's going to be one numbered and one auto in every mini half. Maybe you do, do well if you got more than that, I think. But there's a rookie so far of probably the most named. Well, I guess I got Wander. There's Spencer Torkelson rookie. A Bryson Stott rookie with a green behind it. Let's wait and see. There's a Louis Rodriguez regular. And a Uri Biro Angeles. Angel Angeles. And a green. Bowman. First Bowman. Roderick Arias. Nice. That's a re. Well, I think of it as the retail of the hobby. Retail, but it's a hobby box. Number 799 of the Yankees. Highly pros prospected Rod Roderick Arias. I have a feeling that's probably worth a little something something. Nice hard signed card with a little extra line through it. The guy took more than just a half a second to sign that. That's cool. Number seven of ninety nine. First auto to hit. Roderick Arias. And I think some people put him as up in the top five even in the prospects. I don't know, because he's a Yankee. You think he's really highly touted, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not complaining at all getting a good number out of ninety nine. Rookie autograph. Oh, yes, from the New York Yankees. Yeah, I guess any of the numbered stuff that's red, you're gonna go like you're gonna hit gold because red is gold. Red is numbered at a five, and there's other like there's more than one red version. There's like a red wave. There's uh, yeah, but green's good. Green, I like green. MJ Melendez rookie. Oh, we got more color coming in. Juan Yepes rookie card. There's Pedro Pinata. And Marco Luciano with a numbered purple Josh Donaldson. Numbered out of 250. 250. Number 131. A 250. Josh Donaldson. I forgot he was a Yankee too. He's Since he left the Jays, he's, he moved around and then he got himself to the New York Yankees. There you go. Looking mighty fine. What am I doing here? I was separating first Bowman's and rookies, and then I lost my train of thought. No, I did all right. I just mixed a couple up. I didn't fail the test completely. I hadn't handed it in yet. That's what happened. Yeah, so that's the story I'm sticking to. Okay. Bimo on the back. Benny Montgomery on the back with a Jose Altuve. And Christian Yelich, regular card to go with my refractor. There's uh, James Wood. Not the actor, baseball player. And it's uh, Nelson Velasquez, Velasquez, Shades of Greatness. And again, another one of last year's highly touted rookies. So we'll see how they do this year. So out of that half, I'd say I did all right. The Roderick Arias rookie. I got their uh, the interesting new rookies or inserts. And refractor, purple and regular. But let's move these all along, shall we? We'll put that one down there, that around there. Let's make this look real pretty in case somebody walks in. I don't know who would walk in and why it would matter, but let's do it anyway. It's a centerfold. Oh, Jake Ausman, retro. Okay, are we done yet? Are we finished playing? Stop touching yourself. Oh, sorry. That was out loud again. Here we go, box number two from the hobby. Inners, or mini inner number two. Six more packs from the hobby. First hobby box I've opened of this year's 22 Bowman Chrome. Tap that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you could even would. And tell your friends to subscribe and get everybody to subscribe. As I hit a 1,000, I'm going to give away something. I haven't decided how or what or how it's going to happen, but that'd be a great accomplishment considering I didn't think anybody would subscribe when I started this a couple months ago. So, hey, there you go. And never say never. And then, yeah, if you see stuff you like here, check me out on eBay because you might find stuff you like there because standing ovations where I go by up there. And I think I say that every video and if anybody is paying attention. But if you are and you buy something off me, I'll give you free shipping if you mentioned you saw it in the video or you heard me say this in the video that I just said that there. 
So anyway, here we go. Randy Arozarena, Ar Bo Bichette. The flow is Bo. Shades of Greatness, Blaze, Jordan. Why did I put extra piles of those? Let's make this all appropriately stacked. Do Dario Lopez, Lorenzo. Oh, I'm just making names up here. Dory Lorenzo and Jay Allen. I wonder if he's related to Mel Allen. This week in baseball. I remember that show when I was a kid. I used to love watching it. Saturday afternoon. Brandon Marsh. Rookie. Rookie. Mandy. Manny. Mandy. It's Manny Machado. We got another purple card. Numbered out of 250. Luis Rodriguez. Rod, Rod, Rodriguez. Luis Rodriguez. And first Bowman of James Triantos. First Bowman of Edinson Paulino. Another highly touted rookie. Up in the top ten even, maybe. Some people say. Many people say. Jose Ramirez. Brandon Crawford. Gabriel Moreno. I like getting Blue Jay insert cards of good players like this guy. And this guy makes me think they're going to trade away Danny Jansen because he's a really good player, this catcher. And they got Alejandro Silver Silver Slugger Award, Kirk. So there, there's that. Brian Acuna. Looks a little bit like uh, Ronald Acuna. Huh, what a coincidence. And Eric Hernandez, first Bowman. Moving right along into pack number four. Jonathan India. All the way from Jonathan India. Gavin Sheets rookie. So as they say, there's tons of rookie in, rookies in this that make the base worth collecting. I don't know why you'd want those HGA. Unless you just hate rookie cards or um, base cards. Mind you, the Bowman doesn't carry the same value as the Topps Chrome, but they're still good to collect, I think, personally. First Bowman of Drew Baker. And. We got a Shades of Grace and Shades of Greatness, Jackson Merrill. That's just Shades of Greatness. He's not wearing shades though. They should all be wearing shades. Like the Series 2 did that in Tops this year. Shades. I don't know what they're called. The Shades. They are all wearing the shades. Aaron Ashby, rookie guard. Let's get that other Brewers prospect guy there we're talking about. Maybe a little. Show me some Shorio. Miggy Cabrera, a little bit of a damn med Joe. Oops, that was a rookie. Put you in the right spot. We got My Michael Hernandez, first Bowman, refractor, with a Volpe and a Willie Fannis, first Bowman. Number, anybody that cares or paying attention, it's 356 of 499. First Bowman of Michael Hernandez. Okay. I got a Louis. I should put them out and spread them around a bit. Just so they're all out there. Let's get them all out there. Yeah. There we go. Last pack. Hopefully, this has got an autograph in it. Otherwise, I got Jet for an autograph, man. But I don't think that'll happen. Tops is really good, right? They are, right? You're going to give me a good one, right? Maybe. Off the back, we have Pete. Crow Armstrong. We also have Sal Freelich. And on the top, with a scratch on it again, Gabriel Arias, rookie. Oh, it's goldy gold. It's got a chunk and a dent in it. That one took some abuse on the top of the pack, I guess. Jose Miranda hiding a nice gold card. Oh, it's a first Bowman. Oh, I like that. A first Bowman gold refractor. Jojo Blackman, number three of 50. Rangers prospect. Don't know much about Jojo. Is he related to Charlie? He was born in Pensacola, Florida. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I got a Jojo Blackman gold refractor. Got to like the gold refractors. They look really nice. Number three of 50. Nice hit. I think so. I think I did well out of that first hobby box. Again, for a pricey rip, it's a lot of fun because you never know. It's it's all about the future here. And again, as a baseball fan, I've been for quite some time. 
you never know. There's always there's always tomorrow. I'm a Blue Jays fan, so I saw it in my lifetime. I actually saw it back to back, and I was actually there when Joe Carter hit that home run and T.O. was the best game of my life. Fortunately, I drank a little heavily, and it's not as clear as I'd like to be, but thank God for YouTube because I watch the game a lot. Well, on, on, on occasion from time to time. Okay, well, there's that. Enjoy your year, folks. 2023 is here. Believe it. It's happening. You made it. Good for you. Congratulations. And uh, me personally, I'll be back tomorrow with another break. Um, probably hockey. I'm not sure which product. I mixed them all up. And again, as soon as I got this, I ripped it as quick as I could. But I had all these other breaks lined up. So I may have bumped this in even earlier and rearranged the schedule just to get this up and out there. But I don't think I did. I don't think I will. I think I'll just leave it here because I said Happy New Year. And it is a Happy New Year. Take it easy, folks. Standing ovation out.